What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. My name is Splattercat, today in the world of indie games, we're going to be playing a cowboy roguelite called Colt Canyon. It's got pretty cool pixel art. It's got a cold open, so I had to pause the game. Luckily, I, luckily it didn't go straight to cutscene. I was able to pause it, but apparently we're hanging out in a canyon with our lady friend right now. I love this part of the canyon. I had a great time here, but I think we should head back home. Are you looking for your revolver? Look by the crates over there. Yeah, dude, that's a safe place to leave my gun. Absolutely, that's a safe place. I destroy containers to find loot. Oh, apparently I can knife over. Oh, we got bullets. Nice. I like bullets. Bullets are good. All right. Bullets. Come hang out with... Oh, there's a gun over here. Nice. I found a gun. Yeah, reload it, man. Throw some bullets on in there. Oh, I like the UI up at the top left-hand corner. That's nice. Any more bullets around here? I can break that fence, obviously. Why don't you show me your skills? Come on over here. Hey, now. Hey, now. This is a family channel. As much as I would love to show you my skills, we can't do that. I'm going to get demonetized. Relax. Can you hit the vases over there? Uh, vases? Oh, yeah, yeah. Boom. Mm-hmm. Do I have to be, like, closer or something? Oh, maybe they... Oh, no, there's people. Oh no, dude. Oh, they have so many swords and stuff. I've been beat to death. I didn't know what to do. I ran out of ammo and I'm not good at reloading while running. You were knocked out and the bandits have abducted your partner. You got to do something. No, partner. And I got no bullets either. Oh no, did they kill my horse? Oh, there's blood like everywhere, man. Looks like they forgot one of their guns. Well, that's that's definitely forgetful. Uh, we can swap between weapons like so. What is this? Like a, like a tube shotgun? All right. Oh, you can squeeze right through, too. Nice. Okay, I was actually going to do that the hard way by breaking it down. One bandit stayed here. Take him out with a stealth attack. All right. So we can use a dodge roll to get close and attack before he notices us. Yeah, that definitely worked. Uh, of all the things that worked, that seems to have worked pretty well. There's another bullet inside of there. Where do I get my health back from? I mean, we got enough. Yeah, fill up the old six gun right there. Perfect. Uh, did we get any bullets for the shotgun? No ammo for the shotgun, so that's not going to be an option just yet. Uh, keep walking eastwards to start the rescue attempt. It's a long way from here. All right, so when does the roguelite part come in? Because this seems like a fairly standard, like, action shoot 'em up game thus far. I I'm sure that the mechanics are going to become apparent, but, like... Booyah, wooyah! Nice, I found medicine. I can use it to restore. Oh, I got an HP back. Nice. I love it when I get my HPs, but is there any more HPs around here? Because I'm pretty beat up. This way, quickly, to help your partner. Well, I'm trying to make sure I got enough bullets first. Oh, that dude got wasted. What? It's so violent. <laughs> Do you see the bullet rip through that guy? Like, the entire field turned into a blood puddle. That dude's trying to run because he doesn't know me like that. Am I, like, butchering innocent people right now? A short shotgun. Well, that's not good. Yeah, dude, just waste him real fast. Ooh, more health. Nice. I've got two shotguns right now. I should probably have a pistol. It's probably a decent idea to just keep ourselves rocking. But we've got the shot. I didn't expect it to be that violent, dude. Like, we shot that guy that was out in the field. And I thought he'd be like, Ehh! and he'd like bounce sideways with a little flash. And all of a sudden, he just explodes into a giant mountain of gore. Like, the bullet goes through him, hits the guy behind him, bro. I was thinking, like, we were going to have, like, some kind of, you know, like, 1960s movie where people get shot, but there's never any blood. And instead, we were given Django Unchained, where it's just, like, explosives. It's, like, explosions of viscera everywhere as we're chasing people across the field and gunning them down. That guy's got a gun, so I think he's got to go first. Oh. <laughs> the sound effects. That guy was like, oh! <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't laugh because horrific viral, horrific violence is not funny. 
but it is super entertaining. Yeah, you better you better reload that shotgun shell over there. You better you better get that locked and loaded. Uh, let's go ahead and help our partner here. We can get an upgrade. Very nice. What kind of upgrade can I get? Let me fight on your side. You are harder to spot and enemies won't alert their friends. Healing companions is cheaper and reviving is faster and free. And then bullets and your dynamite start fires. Uh, I'll have you join up as my partner here. I need to find a weapon for him. Uh, there should be a weapon laying around somewhere. Yeah, take that shotgun. I feel like the AI will be better with a shotgun. Like, are there any other guns laying around? I gotta reload, and I've got, like, a couple of bullets left. Not that many. I do like how they keep bullets a little bit scarce. Oh, he blasted him. Nice. I think he's got infinite ammo, too, so he just kind of, like, does what he's gonna do. I'm gonna help out the best I can here. I like how the horses react to the gunfight, too. That's actually really, really cool. Uh, reload where you can. Yeah, I was gonna say, my partner didn't help out too much right there. I would have appreciated if he did, but yeah, listen to the horses, dude. I like how the horses go crazy, uh, during, like, the gunfights and stuff. That's actually, like, a really, really cool effect. Did I get, like, an- Oh, yeah, I've got, like, a little- I got a little prostitute gun right there. I got, like, my normal, you know, peacemaker, and then I got, like, a little tiny hooker gun that I can keep inside my brassiere just in case. Uh, can I break this right here? Can I break the outhouse? No. Can't break the outhouse, but we can sneak through the fences on this side. Can I? Ow, dude, the horse. The horse hurt me. I had to get revenge on him. I think my partner might be a little bit beat up. I think he's not feeling too good right now. Then again, neither are the horses that I just shot. All right, so don't go near horses is the name of the game. We'll reload that little gun right there, too. Uh, where am I supposed to go? Do I have, like, a map or something? Like, I don't really know what I'm attempting to accomplish here. Uh, there's a guy over there. My partner is getting pretty gung-ho about the whole thing. Oh, no, dude. That's not good. I was trying to dodge roll away, but I guess you can't dodge roll after you've been lassoed. Did I just ricochet a bullet off that dude's face and into that other guy? Dude, I love this game. I love this game already. My bullet bounced off that guy and hit the other dude. I'm basically like a gunslinging god right now. Like, I'm like, I'm like Wyatt goddamn Earp at the moment. And everyone in the Wild West should fear me. Do we have, like, anything else around here that I can loot? We got a dead guy on this side. I don't see anything. Oh, there we go, there we go. Medicine, maybe? I could definitely use some medicine. If there's some medicine around, I would love to have it. But I think this is just taking us back to the beginning. I actually really, really like the graphical style. The graphical style is, like, solid. Uh, basically using various shades of, like, brown to, like, yellows, and then just using contours for the shading. Like, it looks good. There's a frying pan over here. I don't know what we use a frying pan for, but... Oh, we throw the frying pan at people. Okay, gotcha. Uh, I'm gonna... There's another shoddy over here. I think I'd rather have the shoddy. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, get rid of the little prostitute gun. And give me the shoddy. My man's over here trying to gunfight the whole world, and it's not going so great for him. I don't know if he's just inaccurate or if he's just incompetent. I haven't decided entirely. Yay, we got an achievement. Nice. Okay. A long revolver. Oh, dude. That's like a that's like a big old... That's like there was a pistol that Colt made back in the old days. That it was a, it was a revolver that fired, like, literal... It, it was a revolver that fired. I forget what it fired, dude. What did it fire? Like 45 out 70. Like it was a it was a long revolver that basically fired a rifle round. I don't remember if it fired like 303 or what, but it was a. Oh, I can tell them where to go. Okay, I know that's been flashing on my screen the entire time. Okay. Oh, I can tell them to guard a spot too. Okay. No, just come with me, man. It's all good. I'm going to try and pick up as many companions as I can. Reload looks about similar. I assume this is just going to be more accurate with the longer barrel. I'll have better muzzle velocity. That's the end of our level right there, though, so that's good. All right, so how many more bad guys we got? Dude, that's a really, really big pistol. That's a, that's a beefy pistol right there. Some people call it overcompensating. Um... I found some dynamite. Apparently, I can throw dynamite now. 
Some people would call it overcompensating. I call it being really, really, really sure that that guy is dead. I know. Both things very, very similar, but like... Hey, man, sometimes you gotta hit somebody with a 50 BMG. It is what it is. Sometimes you gotta catch somebody in the Domo with a Beowulf round. I'm gonna sneak through the fence over here. Oh, no, don't shoot my partner. Damn, it penetrates, dude. It penetrates and goes through and, like, wastes people. I wonder what his HP looks like. He's blinking red now, which makes me think he's pretty messed up. Oh, there's another dude over there here. Catch that bullet for me real fast. Open wide. All right, so that guy's been taken care of. Can I go inside the church or anything like that? I guess not. There's probably a few more bullets laying around. It looks like, actually, medicine is kind of hard to come by. You don't see it very often. Uh, the shotgun shells... Little rarer than the normal bullets as well. Since that guy's a melee dude, I'm just gonna point blank him with a shotgun. Like, I don't really see a reason to go too ham fistedly crazy out here. Don't hit that, please. Especially not while I'm standing next to it. Hey, there's a heart. I'll take it. Oh, I can heal him from my health. I thought I was healing at the pump right there, but I guess not. I'm healing him, so I basically gift him my health like a reverse vampire. Gotcha. Or he might be a vampire, I guess, and then I'm just his little blood buddy that he uses to get his sustenance. Either way works. I just wanted to be aware how the system functions. I didn't really care about, care about the rest. Uh, we've got heavy rounds, too. I wonder if we're going to pick up some kind of, like, sparks, right? Or, I'm sorry, sharps rifle or something later on. Something's got a little bit of, like, foo! Like, something's got a little bit of buffalo kick to it. Another bullet right there. I'm not trying to leave goodies behind. Man, that guy had a chin on him. That guy took a lot of damage before he went down. It looks like you got to kind of space out the shots, too. Oof, wasted. Wasted when he came around the corner. All right, give me a few more. Ooh, a slug gun. What does a slug gun do? Oh. So it just fires, like... A really really big bullet and it uses a shotgun shell so it's like a slug throw it's basically it's a slugger all right so like it's a shotgun firing slug rounds I don't know how I feel about that I'll play around with it though because it's the first impressions video so why not we might as well experiment with a lot of the stuff that's laying around because who knows who in the audience like everybody in the audience has different preferences about like what kind of guns and things they like to equip when they play video games and so like how will they know that there's a gun that matches up with their play style unless I use it uh, the slug gun is not necessarily my play style but I am I, I will check it out for the benefit of the audience here why not uh, the slug appears to do a metric ass ton of damage. Like, say what you will about the slug gun. It looks like it finishes people pretty good. Oh, he's got a shield? That's not good. Okay, let's dodge back this way. There we go. I think I had to break through his shield first. I got some extra health right here, so what's this going to cost me? Cost me one health to get him back up. Okay. Uh, here, take another heart, I guess. Yeah, there you go. Take a little bit of my health. Not like all of it, but you can have like a little bit of it. I do like the gun variety. Like, they're coming at us pretty fast. Oh, a red key. Okay. Uh, they're coming... Oh, dude, when we step in the blood, we leave bloody footprints all over the place, too. The attention to detail, man. There's all these little things that the game keeps making apparent to me. Yeah, just keep shooting them. You can kind of snipe from a long way. What kind of gun is that? Whoa! Hey, hey, hey. We got a flamethrower? What was that? A simple pistol. Oh, it's like a little, like, Luger or something. Okay. Yeah, let's play around with it. It looks like it's like a little early semi-automatic pistol. Those were available in the late 1800s, kind of like near the end of the Wild West days. Sort of. I mean, none of them were any good. But, like, they existed. Well, I guess there was the C96. The C96 is a pretty well-renowned, like, venerated pistol in certain areas of the planet. So I guess there was the C96. Although the C96 was often chambered in, like, really weird rounds, like 32 caliber, that I wouldn't think would be combat effective. 
Like, I don't know. I just, I don't feel like a 32 is enough for a weapon of war. Yeah, this is a lot less accurate, but it fires faster. Okay. I dig it. I dig it. Uh, I assist you, my friend. An upgrade. Uh, so we can reload faster. We can make ourselves, we got reduced noise, kickback, and recoil. Or we can have this guy fight on our side. Uh, yeah, let me go with the faster, let me, let me go with the faster reload. I'll probably get my long barrel pistol back up here. Uh, because I like to fight from a range. So that's pretty good right there. It looks like there's like a crossbow or something right there. I think it's a pickaxe though. Uh, we rescued the person that's on this map, so I doubt that there aren't too many more things that we need to occupy ourselves with. Slug thrower's not reloaded either. We might need a weapon hot swap, so make sure everything's got a round. Don't shoot. I want to trade. Oh, so we use... Okay. So we use our ammunition as, as trading fodder. Gotcha. I, I don't really want to buy anything that he has there, nor do we really have a double-barreled shotgun. I gotta go with it, man. The double-barreled shotguns have come up. We gotta, we gotta grab onto that. Yeah, I was gonna say, if we can do a follow-up shot now after that first shot, like, we should just be like a run-up on kids and punk them like champion from now on. Uh, looks like we can cut left from right there to go to the previous level. I don't really want to. That guy's got like a battle axe or something, but I'm just gonna waste him. Couple of heavy rounds. Yeah, you need to like fix your boy up with some more shotgun shells out here. That or some health, I guess. I, I would absolutely love to be able to heal up my companion to full. Like that would be something that like, oof. All right, three bullets right there. We're getting lots of heavy rounds. I don't know if the game's planning on like dunking on us like Shaq style with like a very, very awesome weapon. Oh, the red key opens that right there. Nice. Oh, and it increased the size of our health too. Very cool. Okay, let's heal this guy. Yeah, let's get him patched up a little bit. I'm kind of like an altruistic person. I look out for my companions. I just can't help it. We just got a bunch of extra HP, so why not? Oh, we have maximum shotgun shells right now. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe shotgun shells don't drop if you have the maximum amount available. Uh, the game is smooth. It's responsive. It feels really, really good. In every way, it feels just as good as like Enter the Gungeon or like Binding of Isaac or any of the other games you've ever played in this genre. Like it feels really, really nice. Like it feels visceral. The guns feel like they have like kick to them. Like they feel like they, they're dealing damage when you use them. Man, that guy's got HP. <laughs> I mean, if you want to pull me closer while I'm wielding a shotgun, man, Go ahead and be my guest. I can't recommend that that's gonna work out super fantastically well for you. But hey, dude, if that's the if that's the game plan you're married to, you know, slide that ring on your finger, I guess. I do wanna use a grenade on somebody. I do like how it sort of slows you down a little bit too whenever you're reloading, just to make you kinda like think about it, and it's just enough. It's just enough that if somebody's trying to close with you, like reloading is really, really bad, but it's fast enough that the gameplay maintains its momentum, which with any title like this, I think is like really, really important. Ooh, sniped him around a corner. That man's got nothing to show me. All right. We're reloaded. We're looking pretty good right now. Whole bunch of loot over here. I'm just gonna unload on him, man. I'm just gonna fan the hammer on that guy. You gotta do what you gotta do. Although, most gunslingers back in this time period, there's excerpts from like Wyatt Earp and some of like the renowned gunslingers, like the guys that were known for having killing hands back in this day. Uh, Wyatt Earp had no love in his heart for anybody that practiced like hammer fanning. He like made a point of mentioning it one time in one of his letters, being like that he has no respect for anybody that does like a trick shot or tries to fan the hammer. Uh, because in combat, only kind of like ruthless accuracy and aim matters. Ooh, I've been hit. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna run up here and try to help the partner out real fast. There we go. Partner took a little bit of damage. Maybe it wasn't Ert. Maybe it was somebody else. But anyways. A simple flint pistol. Why would I want a flintlock? 
I don't know, maybe it hurts more. I'm gonna keep the double barrel shotgun though. Oh, my partner just got wasted. My partner just had a really, really bad day. Are you alive there, pal? Are you okay? He's at half health. I'll wait until we find a little bit more HP to really go all in and heal him up. I'm here. I just, I don't know how to get you out of there. Oh, the grass gets broken when you mail. Oh, never mind. It's me moving through the grass. Woo! Oh, cool. I get a free upgrade. Nice. I like upgrades. Let's see here. We can get thrown dynamite, explodes on contact. Enemies drop more gear. We can carry more ammo. Yeah, let me get some more. I'll get more ammo capacity. I definitely like that idea. Uh, we'll go ahead and revive this guy real quick. I didn't mean to blow him up with my dynamite, but he was kind of standing next to the objective that I was trying to access. So that was a pricey mistake. I didn't know if my own explosives would hurt my partner, but they do. So at least we verified that for science. As it turns out, explosives deployed close to the faces of your friends may result in noseless afternoons. Hey, healing, very nice. That was actually exactly what the doctor ordered. I mean, I don't know what else doctors would order aside from healing devices and healing objects. I guess occasionally they might go out for fast food and get like, you know, a quarter pounder with cheese or something. They probably order other stuff. Tests, I guess. But I feel like tests still fall under the purview of like healing. Sooner or later, we're gonna get an automatic weapon. We're gonna get something that's just. You're not allowed to be here? Uh oh. I probably could have reloaded a little more effectively. And I feel bummed out that I didn't. Oh, my partner's down. He's got a lot of HP. He's also got a lot of little homies that are just soaking bullets for him. Well, I'm not trying to waste my ammo on them. You're forcing me to waste my ammo on... There's like a hundred little guys with knives chasing me all over the place. Is he dead? Oh my god, thank Christ, he's dead. I'm gonna kill off the rest of these dudes. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. We're actually pretty beat up right now. Luckily, we got a whole bunch of free bullets out of fighting him, so that's really, really good. Uh, he's got crossbows over here. Yeah, man, let's check out the crossbow. It's probably silent. That's probably the benefit of the crossbow. Did I permanently lose my partner? Oh yeah, he died, man. He dropped a whole bunch of healing and stuff, though, when he went down. That's a bummer. All right. Well, apparently I no longer have any friendship. Feels terrible, my dudes. I don't know. There's, like, really nothing else that I need here. Uh, I guess I maybe there's an upgrade around somewhere, but I didn't see it. Oh, things changed colors. All right. A level two is apparently quite a bit more stark. Woo! <laughs> that death sound gets me every time. That, Woo! <laughs> like, every single... Ooh, a repeater, dude. Yes! It's got four long ammo? I'm about it, dude. I love Winchesters, man. I live right next to the... Uh, to the I live near the Winchester Mystery House, man. We used to go there all the time when I was in school. On, like, field trips and whatnot. That guy's selling stuff? Okay. Good to know. 
Uh oh. Oh, you've got to lever it. Okay, gotcha. So we actually have to wait for the levering. I can't just like spam it. Uh, don't shoot. I want to trade. Well, what do you have though? So 38 heavy right? Yeah, dude, your prices are too high. Sorry, man. You are you are costing me a, a damned fortune, amigo. I was gonna say, once you got yourself a rifle, you can basically play these guys super foul. And just stay like hella far off and just like snipe. I am using long ammo right now though, which I think is inevitably gonna run out. So I'll swap back to my pistol for the moment. But I would make the observation that the long range weapons definitely seem to win out. You know, over the long, I don't wanna shoot a dog, but they kinda made me do it. I do think that the long-range weapons kind of win out over the short-ranged weapons, in my opinion. Like, the short-ranged weapons are nice. Like, the shotgun is really cool for clearing, like, eight people at once that all have melee weapons. Oh, that tree hurts me? Okay, I guess I get hurt by trees now. Not only am I being shot at by human beings, I'm also being viscerally gutted by trees. I do also like how we are the Clint Eastwood graphic, right? Oh, you shot the you shot the homie. What kind of upgrade do I want? Two additional empty health points. Let me fight on your side. Increase heavy ammo damage and knockback, but reduce penetration and accuracy. I need another homeboy, man. I need a, I need more friendship. I don't have a lot of friendship right now. A small revolving rifle. Oh, that's cool. It fires small ammo. Very nice. Uh, yeah, here, you take the repeater, man. I actually, these are really, really common for the time period as well. Uh, Nagant pistols and a number of pistols back then had full-on rifle conversions that were sold at the time. Uh, just to increase the length of the barrel, give you some more muzzle velocity and make them a little bit more killy. As though that was a problem. Bullets back then were like crazy huge. Like, and they were actually, they were black powder, which made the bullet travel slower, which makes it sound like um, a bad thing. But actually, in some cases, a bullet that's moving slower can do more damage. It sort of, it sort of depends on the bullet. But, like, in certain cases, larger bullets moving slower can do more damage than, like, a larger bullet moving faster. It's like, it's kind of a case-by-case -case thing. Man, that person had Oh no, what just happened? Am I like on fire? What's wrong with my character right now? Why do I have smoke coming off of me? I'm gonna blow that up because I love the explosion graphic and it pleases me. A little bit more right there. I'm curious to see how accurate this gun is. So maybe we'll find. Let me, let me, let me, let me equip the uh, the old. Ooh, hello. Uh, let me equip the old uh, revolver rifle and just kind of see how it does. I think we've just about liquidated everybody out here, though. Like it is a bad day to be on the other team. I'm gonna tell you what. Uh, that's a snake. And I definitely don't like that. So I guess the snake, you have to melee. Ah, dude, the tree got me too. Or am I still poisoned right now? Dude, I think it's the pricker bushes that are getting me right there. All right, well, we'll just go to the next level, man. This is like a hazardous level, and it's hurting me, and I don't know exactly where all the pain is coming from. But I do know that the pain is coming from... Dude, those bushes right there. Oh, God. Okay, so the don't touch anything red is the, the impression that I'm getting right now. It's easy to like walk into them when you're like in the middle of a gunfight or not paying attention, but it does look like the environment is getting quite a bit more hostile. Actually, it looks like the revolver rifle is pretty strong, man. This thing hurts. I wasn't expecting it to one tap at that range, but it's actually like wrecking kids right now. I don't know if it's like a slightly less performance enhanced version of like a rifle, but it's doing a pretty good job at the moment. Like, it's causing legitimate issues for a lot of the guys we're running up on right now. 
Uh, if I could find a med crate, dude, that would like change my life. So let's focus on that because I lost a lot of health fist fighting a snake. I thought it would make me seem manly. At the end of the day, it just made me seem really stupid. I do love the environmental sounds too, like the buzzards and the crows and whatnot. Very, very thematic. They definitely managed to dial in on sort of that uh, Eastern Arizona, New Mexico type Southwestern vibe. Which is always kind of odd that that's what's associated with like, uh, it's, it's gotta be film that's to blame for that. Because like I've seen areas of Nevada and areas of like New Mexico that are like really, really well forested and whatnot. Uh, but for whatever reason, that idea of like the orange mesas and the endless sprawling yellow landscapes, I did it again. I did it again. I walked right into it. Uh, for some reason, is just like the prevailing idea of what the Wild West was like. And honestly, if you've ever been to Utah or Colorado or those sorts of places, like, oh no, he's got a shield. Oh, the reload time is bad. Okay, so that's the balance that you're paying for with this gun. Ooh, he almost got me right there. Dude, reload faster, please. Did we get that guy? A little bit of health right there. Definitely take it. What did he have? A small repeater? I'm going to swap in the repeater because I'm using too much small ammo right now. Yeah, I'm going to swap in the repeater just so we have alternate ammo types. I might be going a little ham just on small bullets. But my name is Splattercat. This is Colt Canyon. I actually really like it. Uh, this game crept up on me. They did a really good job with it. This is a solid arena shooter roguelite in the vein of like Nuclear Throne, uh, Vintage Year, Enter the Gungeon. Uh, it stands on its own two legs. This is a really, really good job. I'll see y'all later. Thank you for being here. If you enjoyed the game, make sure you get it down below in the description. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day. So you don't have to. I definitely recommend you check out some of my other links down below uh, for some of my social media like Twitter and for Twitch TV where I'm live pretty much every day of the week. I'd love to have you as a guest. I'll see y'all next time. Thank you for being here and take care, everybody.